Hello and welcome to the AI with Arun show. I'm your host, Arun Trivedi. So today we are diving into the exciting world of AI and comparing how China, the US and India are driving the development and applications. We'll explore key factors shaping each country's AI landscape, including government policies, investments, and the unique challenges and opportunities that they face. So let's start with China. The country possesses strong academic institutions, adaptive regulations, robust infrastructure, data accessibility, and industry-specific innovations in AI. China also benefits from domestic hardware, innovative AI optimizations, cutting-edge AI models, global impact, government support, and a data-driven approach. However, China faces challenges like fragmented data flows, uneven regional capabilities, and a talent gap, compute restrictions, and an implementation gap. The U.S. boasts robust R&D, private sector investments, a very skilled workforce, focus on responsible AI, a strong innovation culture, and scaling initiatives. However, the weaknesses include an implementation gap, over-reliance on frontier models, high costs, and regulatory uncertainty. India, on the other hand, benefits from a growing AI market, government initiatives, a focus on inclusive growth, and digital public infrastructure. The strength includes state-level AI leadership, a collaborative ecosystem, and the AI for India 2030 program. However, the challenges include limited compute capacity, a data divide, language barriers, lack of indigenous AI models, implementation challenges, and the job security concerns. Now, if you compare the infrastructure, which is foundational for AI, China has invested significantly in AI infrastructure, but there are fragmented data models and that hinder seamless sharing. The U.S., on the other hand, has a very strong AI infrastructure foundation, but there are concerns about its environmental impact. India is building national AI infrastructure, but compute capacity and access to high-performing computing are limited. Now, if you look at the complete value chain in the AI ecosystem, the U.S. is focusing on full-stack AI development with an emphasis on software and innovation. China takes a very data-centric approach, prioritizing data collection and labeling. India is growing as an AI service provider, focusing on data annotation and model training. Now let's do a comparison of the AI applications. So China is developing industry-specific AI applications, particularly in healthcare, manufacturing, and smart cities. The US has a diverse AI application and strong innovations, but there's a risk of over-reliance of over on frontier models. India uses AI for social good, focusing on agriculture, healthcare, and education, but faces implementation challenges. Now let's talk about DeepSeek, which is a Chinese AI startup that is challenging US dominance with competitive AI models. DeepSeek R1 matches leading Western models despite fewer resources. Its open source approach fosters collaboration and accelerates AI development. The models are very cost effective and offer very accessible alternatives compared to ChatGPT and Google Gemini. Increased competition will drive innovation and lower barriers to entry in the AI field. Let's talk about government policies. So China has made significant investments in AI at all government levels, focusing on a national AI development plan and data administration. The US is promoting responsible AI and is investing in research, infrastructure, and skilling as seen in initiatives like Project Stargate. India is committed to AI through the India AI mission and the AI for India 2030 program, emphasizing democratizing computing access and data quality. How is each country thinking about ethical considerations? So China's regulations address privacy, fairness, and accountability in AI, but challenge remains in ensuring responsible AI and mitigating risk. The US is focusing on bias, transparency, and the social impacts of AI with concerns about privacy and job displacement. India prioritizes human rights, dignity, and autonomy in AI while facing challenges related to privacy, discrimination, and social inequality. It's very natural to ask who is winning the AI race in the future. But China is rapidly closing the AI gap with the US, particularly in bilingual benchmarks. The US focuses at translating AI research into real world products. India's growing AI markets and focus on inclusive growth show strong future potential. In the next 25 to 50 years, it remains to be seen that who will be the powerhouse, but looks like that China has the potential for dominance, whereas US and India need to adopt very quickly. Over the next two sections, we're going to do a comparative analysis of AI investments and the AI talent. This table that you see on the screen, it provides a detailed comparison of AI investments in China, US, and India. And here, you look at the detailed comparison of the talent pool that's available in these countries. 
AI is rapidly transforming the global landscape with China, US, and India emerging as the key players. Each country has its unique strength and weakness in the AI domain. Collaboration and responsible AI development are crucial for harnessing its potential. AI has the power to reshape the global balance of power. This brings us towards the end of the show. Thank you for watching the AI with Arun show. Please like, subscribe, and continue watching AI with Arun show. Mm -hmm.